Studio here and today I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my makeup vault. Let's just get straight into it. I don't know how much around is in here price wise but I'll put up a quick estimate now so you know just how much I have spent on this makeup. So I'd say it's quite a lot of money. Some of it is drugstore, some of it is Kind of high end, I wouldn't say high end, high end, but like kind of high end, you know. Firstly, um, we'll go through the top bit, I think. So, firstly, I'm going to show you my glitters. So, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve glitters. And by glitters, I mean like these little shaker pops. So, this one specifically is MAC. I've got four MAC ones, and then I've got eight Stargazer um, glitter pops. Then I've got the glitter glue that goes with it. Moving on, we then have like, I have a little collection of mini blushes and bronzers. So I have this one, the number seven. I'll try and show like more close up pictures like as we go through. Then I have L'Oreal Le Blush Clinique. Um, I have some Body Shop Blush, another Clinique one, which is more like a mini palette. Then I have a Mark. This is like a blush stick kind of thing. And then I have Playboy, which is like this kind of bronze shadow, but it's kind of, kind of like creamier, but it's for your eyes. Or you can also use it. I use it a bit on my lips, over my lipstick sometimes. Or if you have dark enough skin, you could use it as like a highlight. I, of course, don't. Then I have some of my Kiko Milano palettes. So in there I have... You know, the um, blush, I have bronzer, I have highlight, I also have these little highlight slash eyeshadow pigments from Kiko Milano. Really cool. From MAC, again, I then have this little gel liner. Moving on over here, I have a little highlighter here that I made myself using like moisturizer and um, like a shadow I had. This is my brow promade. It is Diego Della Palma and it's the best one I've used so far. So I've been working my way through that, but I'm starting to run out and it's starting to get kind of dry now. So I've had it quite a while, so yeah. Then I have all my sticks. So this one is like a drugstore one. I don't even remember what brand it is, but it says it's by collection. It's in the shade medium. That one's okay, but it's quite difficult to blend sometimes. Whereas these ones, these ones are my beauties, my angels, they're KKW. One is the contour stick and one is the highlight stick. I got it as a full collection along with this brush. The brush, I love the brush, it works so well. Then I have like my eyelash curlers, some washi tape for when I do my winged liner. Then moving on, if we go into this section next, I have a little collection of eyeliners. These two, this one is Natural Collection, this one is Rimmel London. I have a Bulbasaura of um, mascaras, I have the Eye of Horus, I have a clear brow slash mascara gel, um, and I have Clinique. Clinique is my favourite mascara, honestly. And then I also have this little thing. Uh, that's for my brows that I sometimes use, it's like a brow gel. I don't, I can't remember where it's from. Um, I can't tell whether that's MUA. Yeah, MUA, Makeup Academy, by Makeup Academy. It's all worn off because I've had it such a long time and it's really running out now, so I need to get some more. Then in this section, I have my makeup remover. Um, this one is the Avon one. I don't use this one very often. It's kind of like my backup for every time I run out. So then I have a care solution for my contact lenses. Um, I have two things of contact lenses in here, which are brown. Then I have some just olive oil eardrops because I am very prone to infections. Then I have the MAC Medium Mixing Gel. This goes with the glitters. When you want to put it on your body, you can't use it around your eyes or on your face, but if you want to have it on your body, you can use it that. Moving on, I then have um, Kiko Milano's Moisturising um, Hydra Pro Glow, which is just a moisturising cream for your face. I use it every time I do my makeup, and I have a Becca Blurring Primer. I then have two more primers, which are Obsession. 
and then I have an eye primer which I got for my birthday from my friend I have a Kiko Milano face base I have my KKW um, concealer I have many many lip balms in here and I have a couple of oils as well and then moving on if we go into this section next I have another lip balm there which is like a little stick then I have loads and loads of lip pencils mainly from Kylie Cosmetics then I also in that have lots of these eyeliner pencils some are Coal ones, so the Mark ones I believe are all the Coal ones, and then I also have some that are Avon Coal ones. I have one that's MAC, which is a bright yellow one, which I love. Then I also have some liquid pen ones, really cool. Then, in terms of liquid lipsticks, I have the Jeffree Star Mini Nude Bundle, I think it was the first one, and then I also have I have so many Kylie Cosmetics lip, lip kits. Um, it's unbelievable. I have, so yeah, I have lots of those. Um, then moving on, I then have in this next section, I have a lot of powders, lots and lots of powders, like banana powder, baking powder, um, setting powder, just lots and lots. Then I have two setting sprays. They're both matte ones because I like a matte finish, but I have started opting to a dewy finish. So I might get a new one that's a dewy finish. Then in terms of foundations, I have one, two, three, four foundations. I have one that's Kiko Milano, one that's the Tarte Shape Tape foundation, which isn't amazing, but I mainly use it as like a concealer to go around my brows and like under my eyes and stuff. Then I also have one that is like a cheap kind of drugstore one when I'm not really caring that much. And then I have a NARS one. I love my NARS one. My NARS one's the one I'm wearing today. It's really good. Then I have like this glow that you put on for under your foundation and it makes it really glowy and dewy. And then I also have my Sleep Plus Dream Body um, Cream, which just helps you sleep, rejuvenates your skin. Really good. Next. So I have here, I have my pads, I have these little sticky gems which I like to sometimes put on the inner corners of my eyes, and I have a load of beauty blenders in here, some hair bands, more washi tapes, I have um, like these mixers, one's the light one, one is the dark one. Then I have lots of little capsules of fake blood. I have um, some liquid highlight and I have some liquid latex because I like to do different prosthetics sometimes, you know, like cuts and stuff. Then we can move on to brushes. So this firstly is a brush set that I got, I think from like Amazon or something. Just open her up. Some of them are missing. They're all dirty at the moment, but they need their cleaning. That is just what they look like. So not too expensive, I think it was about 20 quid, not too bad. Then for Christmas, I got this set of brushes. As you can see, they're not used yet. But they start need to be used because you know, these are the more expensive ones, they are MAC. So, um, I don't really like MAC, that's an unpopular opinion. But I think it's mainly just because I really don't like their lipsticks at all. But like, I don't really wear lipstick that much anyway. I usually lose, use the liquid lip rather than a lipstick. So, yeah. But I have a lot of MAC stuff. <laughs> Going on to palettes. Firstly, I have this Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit by Barry M. I got that for Christmas. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it was okay whilst I didn't have my contour sticks. Then I have my Pro Fusion eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. I love the colors in that. I got that for my birthday from one of my friends. Then I have my Kiko Milano palettes, which are, oh, perfect. I use this every single day. Amazing. I'll show you better pictures, like as close ups, but, oh, look how stunning that is. I love Kiko Milano. I, I think Kiko Milano is probably my favorite, favorite um, companies. Definitely. 
giant bronzer you can get that in poundland i just have it then makeup obsession have these palettes that um you can design and customize yourself so it's like one like this where they just pop in they're really cool and there is the ps glow palette it's very similar actually to the kiko milano one but just not as pigmented you know because it's only um primark then morphe i actually forgot i had this palette but it's the most beautiful thing ever it is the nature glow 350 palette love it i forgot it existed for a sec but i love it then i just have this glitter junkie palette from primark again i don't really like the glitter junkie palettes because like they're just so like the glitter is so gloopy and yeah no i don't like it then i have this palette which is the kylie cosmetics one which was one of her christmas ones from like 2016 really cool i have this dusk till dawn palette it's basically like a rip off of um i don't even know what it's a rip off of it's a rip off off of another makeup brand they have loads of them then kiko again there's another kiko one which is really cute i think their christmas collection was definitely my favorite out of all of them there's another customizable one from obsession and there's this cheap little one which I think I got when I was like 13. It was like the first one that I ever got myself. And then there's Alice in Wonderland one that's cute. And it has a little pull out thing. Got that from Primark. It's really good though. I feel like they have to be good for um, the Disney collection because it's a collaboration. Then the Jeffree Star highlighter palette. Unpopular opinion. I hate it. Um... I literally rarely use it. I keep, the only time I ever use it is when I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try again, I'm gonna try and love it, and I just never can. I can't get into it. And then I have the little ones basically, and um, the stuff like that from Clinique. Um, this little one, which my sister gave me a little while ago, thought they looked nice. Then Jeffree Star's Androgyny palette. I do love this one. I was considering doing this one today, but then my outfit was pink. So I was like, no, I'm gonna use pink colors. One. little phone one you know like those cheap ones you get that's um one that i think my granddad got me then another kylie one that's the burgundy palette the last one at least this is my first ever makeup palette that my mum got me it's from sephora in france and yeah it's one of those but then um it's got like these little bits that pull out the side as well for lips and for face see and that is all of my makeup so um thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it um leave it a like if you did and i will see you next time bye